Let's explore the Optus NBN modem Gen 2 and how to get it connected. This modem primarily uses its ports to connect to your NBN service and devices. First, locate the WAN port. This is where you connect the cable from your NBN network termination device. This will either be an RJ45 connector for fiber connections or a coaxial cable for HFC wireless connections. Then, use the four gigabit Ethernet LAN ports to connect your computer's smart TVs or gaming consoles for a stable, wired connection. These ports support speeds up to one gigabit per sec. Two USB 3.0 ports allow you to connect printers or external storage devices for media sharing using DLNA. Also, make sure you know where the power input and reset button are located. The reset button will reset the modem to factory defaults if needed, but only use this if needed. To set up Wi-Fi on the Optus NBN Modem Gen 2, access the modem's admin panel by typing 192.168.0.1 into a web browser. The default username is admin, and the password can be found on the modem itself. Once logged in, configure your SSID network name, password, and use WPA3 for the best security. This modem supports both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands. A common problem is the internet light fix, where the light on the modem flashes amber. This often indicates a connection issue or firmware problem. First, check all your cables are properly connected and restart your modem. If the problem persists, try updating the firmware through the modem's web interface. Outdated firmware is the cause of 40% of these issues. A small percentage of modems manufactured before Q1 2025 are also being recalled. Contact Optus support for further assistance.